Okay guys, uh, welcome. Today we're going to do a quick uh, just tutorial on WordPress. The the actual admin, just ways to log in and then just get a quick look at what it kind of looks on the back end, just the interface. I know it can seem a little bit overwhelming if you've never seen WordPress before, um, but I think once you kind of get a look and you kind of get a just a quick overview of how it works, it's really not as uh, overwhelming as it seems. So let's go ahead and go to your uh, new WordPress site um, and a lot of times um, some of these themes don't actually have a admin um, link where you can just click the link and it takes you to the login form like for example this this can this uh, particular template has um, a link down here where it's WordPress admin. you can see over here at the bottom left hand corner um, where it has the link and then the forward slash WP dash admin or you can just click that and it would take you to the admin section. Um, if you don't have that on your theme, another way to get there is um, you can always just type in wp-admin and that'll always take you there. And so it just asks you for your username and password um, and you just simply press log in and here you are. Now one thing um, I want to kind of just go over real quick. You can see this this um, it's very clean looking. Uh, it looks, you know, once you kind of get the hang of it, it looks pretty easy to navigate. You just kind of got to know what everything is. So right away, this this orange bar right here, where it says "Write new page and write new post." I just want to clarify real quick what a page is and what a post is. So if you go back to your site, you can see um, up here at the very top, these are actually considered pages. So you have your home page, an about page. Uh, archive page, a contact page, you could have a advertise page. I mean, you can have any kind of page you want. Um, and as you go in, you can add any kind of text you want, um, images you want with links, um, links over to your contact form um, to another page. And then what a post actually is, it's it's an individual um, post. So every time. Um, you write a new post, it, you can give it a title, the text, you can add a video, you can add images, and then once people find your post, that's where the comments can happen and things like that. So, I just wanted to clarify that real quick. So if you go back to your dashboard, um, if you ever want to just do a new page or new post, you can always click those. Otherwise, there is this right tab, the very first tab, and you have your sub nav here, so you're, you can do it, write a new post, write a new page, or write a new link. Now I'll show you um, a link is you can have like your favorites you know maybe there's links that you want to link to different sites out on the web that you want to show people you can create a new link and you have actually a blog role or a friend role um, or recommended sites and you can just add a link um, to somebody else's website so here's a post uh, pretty simple do a title here's the post uh, kind of the same thing with the page title content of the page um, and then the link if you want to add the name of the link where the website address is and give it a quick description hit save off to the manage this actually is considered I would think um, the edit page because anything that you've done this is kind of where you go and edit it so any of the posts that you've done so every kind of tab you go on there's always these sub nav so don't don't forget to look at those so you can manage any of the post any of the posts that you've done any pages, any links, categories, um, things like that. Um, now the design page, this is where all your different themes are. So if you want to change the look and feel of your theme, you can simply click it and it'll just kind of show you what your theme would look like uh, with this. So you can see the difference, it just kind of wraps it around with a different skin and if you like it you can click activate. Um, and then the comments, <clears throat> pretty simple um, once you start to get quite a few you can uh, you can approve them you can unapprove them you can mark them as spam you can delete them um, things like that and the last part of the nav that I want to go over is your settings and your plugins and your users so the settings tab again don't forget to look at the sub nav uh, you have your general info the title of your blog the tagline what the you know what the address is what email address you want to have set up the time zone, simple stuff. Um, 
you know, writing, reading, discussion, privacy. Do you want this to be a private blog? Um, and then also, another thing that comes in, when you have different plugins, if you want to change the settings of any of the plugins, this is where you'll do it. So, for instance, a sitemap, it, you know, it tells me everything about this plugin that I've done with it. Um, so let's write, that leads us right into the plugins. Here's your plugin management, where um, you have your inactive plugins down here that you haven't activated yet, and you have your active plugins, um, where you can you can also deactivate them if you no longer want them. And users is uh, a neat tool that I don't know if a lot of people use. You can add new users um, to come and write on your blog. They can be administrators, they can be subscribers, they can be authors. So you'll you'll have to do that. Um, for them as it says users cannot currently register themselves so you have to manually create that for them and then you give everybody a role so they can be an administrator, an editor, an author, or a contributor so if you ever want to do a guest post somebody can come in and guest post on your blog give them a user account they can log in and write for you so that's kind of it that's kind of a quick walkthrough of the admin section and we'll kind of start breaking it down a little bit more as we get going on these videos so look forward to it thanks